As of May 26, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 5,404,512 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, with 343,514 deaths. Within the region of the Americas, there was a total of 2,454,452 cases, with the number of new cases across the region still trending upwards. On May 27, 2020, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received the results of 41 COVID-19 tests that were conducted, all of which returned as negative. This is the 24th consecutive day out of a total of 382 tests conducted that we have received no positive cases since our last case was recorded on May 3, 2020. Though this data is encouraging, our healthcare providers continue to remain vigilant, screening and testing people who present at our facilities with flu-like symptoms, as we know the public health threat posed by COVID-19 is not over. We encourage everyone to monitor their individual state of health and that of their loved ones. If experiencing symptoms which include fever, cough, sore throat, loss of smell, take no chances. Please seek care at our community respiratory clinics or outside of their normal operations at the Victoria Hospital and the St. Jude Hospital. In the coming week, we'll have the return of our grade six and form five students in preparation for their exams. During that week, we also have the reopening of the national borders to travelers. These changes will result in a greater movement of people. And with that, we note the potential for increased transmission of the virus. As such, the Ministry of Health, in collaboration with the relevant sectors, has been preparing for these changes and the risks that potentially accompany them. This includes instituting of protocols, site assessments to determine capacity for infection prevention and control, as well as the surging of our stocks of personal protective equipment. With all of this in place, we also require the support of every citizen in maintaining the recommended infection prevention and control measures to further strengthen our readiness. We ask that everyone continues to sanitize their hands by using hand washing or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. The wearing of masks while undertaking daily activities out of home and to maintain the required six foot distance. Also, be sure to cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing and sneezing. These simple and inexpensive actions will make a meaningful difference in preventing the spread of infection. The Department of Health and Wellness will continue providing regular updates on COVID-19.